uh, we're emphatically in support of the glider coming to Glen Gormley. I mean, I think it's key in terms of addressing moving people to more sustainable forms of transport. I shaped Belfast City Council's response to the glider consultation with six proposals. So, you know, they were extended and carried off, obviously extended out to Glen Gormley um, to have bus priority on the considered routes, um, to have living roofs on all the infrastructure and brought parking, res residence parking schemes um, in the areas that are going to be affected to it. So it must come to Glen Gormley and serve over 20,000 people who live here. Yeah, and I think there was a groundswell of support from people. I think when the consultation came out, the fact that it was only going to stop at O'Neill's Road, which is just further down the road behind us here, lots of people in Glen Gormley thought, we're going to miss out on that. And there's a real opportunity to help people shift to more sustainable transport by providing the glider coming right up to this time. Yeah, and those are all valid concerns. And that's why I shaped the council's response to talk about residence parking schemes. So if you're displacing parking in the local communities, then that protects those communities from problem parking. But also all of the evidence suggests with more sustainable modes of transport, business benefits and local business benefits, there's better food call, more people come in and they spend more money. So while they are legitimate concerns, it's a real opportunity to let people know that this can be a positive for their local community. Most definitely the glider should come up to Glen Gormley. And I mean, if the rumours are true and it's been stopped down the road about about 10 minutes, then logistically that doesn't work out at all. I mean, it's more sensible, especially for people my age. If we could have to get off the bus 10 minutes earlier and then we have to walk on up, or is there going to be a connection? As I say, logistically, that doesn't work out at all. It doesn't seem any sense. And I mean, I don't know whether it's for money purposes, or for any other reason, you know. But it definitely does not make sense that the, the gliders should come up, go up the Antrim line, turn, and then come back down the Antrim road again. That's the most logical way. But with all councils nowadays, maybe logic doesn't come in there at all. Maybe it's money. No, I don't think it's a good idea to stop down there. What's the point? Most people won't use it then. They get off here to go on a money road. There's loads of houses around here. And for two stops or one stop, whatever it is, it's not worth it. What's the point in having a bus that stops down there when nobody gets off there? Yes, it would be handy. So it would, especially for where you both you know, are in disabled. So it would be handy for getting us about. I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, I don't really know much about it. So I don't mean, I've seen it in. Belfast like but I mean I drive myself so I don't really get the buses you know but I think it'd be fine to space on the roads down here would be the only thing wouldn't it so because uh, you know they the are just single lanes mostly down here you know so it might make a bit of a problem there like what you want to do is bring the bus right down the road right down as far as Mosley mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who get the bus from Glen Gormley to Mosley